look at that. This is the Wisconsin River, everybody. And I'm out here fishing with worms on the bottom for a specific type of sucker called the Shorthead Red Horse Sucker. And I've caught them here before, but I need to make a video to honor the fish and include it in my quest to catch 50 different species here in Wisconsin. Yes. Yes. We're on. Yes. We're on. Yes. We're on. What I got. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a good way to start. Yes. <laughs> a walleye. Yes. We got a walleye, baby. Look at that! See the white on the bottom of his tail tip? That's a sign of a walleye. Alright, let's measure him. There we go. You gotta get him. Mouth closed. Gosh darn it! That is 15 and a half. Well, maybe I can get more. 15 and three quarters. Give me that. Yeah, three quarters. Alright, we're on the board. Walleye! 15 and three quarters! Oh, let's go! All right, there he goes. <laughs> yes! Yeah. Oh, I choked it. Moon eye. Dude just ate it. I'm not big on killing fish if I don't have to, but this dude just choked it. This moon eye just ate it. Oh well. Oh, let's measure him. Let's see what we got. This is not a red horse, but I'm not putting this guy back. He choked it. He is ten and a quarter. Mouth closed, ten and a quarter. I gotta do it. We're gonna have to chop you up. That's just the way it's gonna be, my friend. Look at the site that I'm at. It's just chaos. All my stuff. <laughs> my organization skills are terrible. But hey, I got a headless moon eye. I've already caught a walleye. Now I just need that red horse, man. <laughs> I put the head of the moon eye out there, so. I know this is about red horse, but we're catching fish, man. Got a couple anglers out there. Do they have one? No, I don't think so. Oh! oh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I got a short head. Short head red horse. Yes. 
Yes! See this? This is species 26, my friends. This is a short head red horse. Look at that tail. Oh my goodness. This is what I was going for, baby. Let's go. Oh, wow. I'll take him off the hook in a little bit. He is 15 and a half. 15 and a half. See his nose up against it? Let's talk about his nose. A short head red horse has a smaller mouth and it comes right up, right up against their snout, if you will. And then they have a red tail. And then they have that red tail on the back. Those are the easy ways. Here's a website where you can see it all. Let's let this guy go though. Okay, okay, there you go. You're free to go. <laughs> All right, there we go. We did it, baby. Species 26. <sighs> red horse sucker, short head red horse sucker, Wisconsin River. That's where they are. If you want to catch one, that's where they are, baby. When I made the original video, I believe I called the red horse a river red horse. I apologize. Look at this awesome picture uh, that shows you the differences yeah as you can see mine was a short head red horse because it's got the red tail and there's only three that have that deep red tail and then its mouth is pushed forward and it's tiny there you go there's your short head baby so do you want to try and fish for these all right let me show you how to do it okay first thing you're going to need is a sinker this is just one ounce and then I've got a bead to protect it and then a snap swivel. The reason why I put on a snap swivel is I like to use these snelled Aberdeen hooks because these wire hooks, if they get snagged, you can actually pull them really hard and they'll bend and you can get the snag out. But that's how I fish for red horse suckers here on the Wisconsin River. So there you go, you got your sinker and your hook. And then you put on a chunk of the nighty night crawler. That's it. Really appetizing stuff. Yeah. If you don't like using worms to fish for fish, this is not for you because that's how you fish for suckers. You gotta put a worm on the bottom. See what I mean? I just got a little bit of a snag and I was able to pull it off, but you know, my hook bent. I just bend it back and it'll be good to go. Well, I got my red horse and they got this headless moon eye, so I might as well use them all up. Isn't this knife cool? I know it's old and I gotta dry it off, but I got this from my grandpa. Thanks, Grandpa Teeth. This thing is awesome. This is the cool part. Actually, this is what I really like, the case. It's in the case sweet, plus if you got a belt, put on your belt. That's pretty sweet. That is a good knife. Love it. I'm trying to put my stuff away. Did you get a bite? The drummy! I got a drummy! The freshwater did the drum and he didn't saw the hook. Double bonus. Let's go. Double bonus, let's go. Here. Oh, 11 and 3 quarters. 11 and 3 quarters. Couldn't get to 12. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. Huh? Oh. Yeah, you'll wake up. Wake up. There you go. That, my friends, is why you always put the rods in at the end. I'm packing up right now. 
because the mission is accomplished. Caught that red horse and then bam, got a sheep's head and he didn't swallow the hook. Bonus, bonus, bonus. That's awesome. All right, well, either way, thanks for watching. I have a few more fish, I believe three more fish to honor before my 50, 50 fish in Wisconsin quest is officially complete. So we got to get that flathead catfish, coho salmon, and of course a horny head chub. <laughs> I believe horny head chub is next on the list. So, oh man, we're, we're having it again. Never mind. We're up again. I was getting bites on my outro. I'm sorry. Anyways, yeah, push good buttons. Thanks for watching. See ya!